But the most important thing is this. I've come to the conclusion that in ancient Mesopotamia, you didn't have people like you do today who do believe in ghosts or don't believe in ghosts. That, that dichotomy did not exist in real antiquity. People did not either believe or disbelieve in ghosts. They took them for granted. They were part of real life. Everybody took ghosts for granted. That like you take the weather and the, noise, the crying of children and illness and war and all the other things that beset human beings. It's part of the world. And nobody said to their neighbour, you know, I thought I saw a ghost yesterday. And the neighbour says, what are you how can you be so naive? No, ghosts don't really exist. It's just a kind of fiction, you know, people. no such conversation ever happened. Everybody knew that ghosts were real. Now, this is an extraordinary matter because in the modern Western world, like Manhattan and London, most people will never discuss ghosts. You know, they never say anything, never say anything about it. They change the subject and all that. And the discussion is always between do you believe in them and do you not believe in them? But the thing is this. I believe that when you study antiquity and for sure the Indus Valley population will fit under this umbrella, that the default position of Homo sapiens, the basic working position of Homo sapiens is the belief that when you're dead, you go somewhere. And whatever it is that you can't see that goes somewhere, if it can go there, it can come back. And I believe that the, the, the innocent, naive human belief system, the, the structure of the human mind, is that ghosts were part of the whole working of the universe. Plants die and they are reborn, people are buried and so forth, and they come back when they're unhappy. I believe this is a deep-seated human general rule. So this is it. As I visualize it, you have the um, stratum of belief in humanity that ghosts are part of our world. And then this, so what you might call naive belief system, encounters A, religion, and B, science. And in the face of science and religion, the innate natural belief then is assorted by disagreement, depending on your religious system or your scientific working. But you end up with an increasing number of persons who discard their so-called inherited view of the matter. And with their so-called rational minds say, well, it's not compatible with religious belief or it is compatible with religious belief, but it's not compatible with science because no one can prove they existed and scientists will say that. So you have this dichotomy in the end, in the modern world in which I live, where people are more or less sharply divided between people who believe in ghosts and scientists and all sorts of other persons who think they know best say they don't exist. Now, this is the thing. Lots of people I know never say anything about ghosts, never mention ghosts. Sometimes I've known people for 30 or 40 years, they never said anything. But one day when the question comes up, people say things like this. You know, it's a funny thing. When I was a student, my auntie told me one afternoon that when she was a girl, something happened to her she could never understand. And she saw something and she thought she saw a ghost, but she never told anybody because they thought they laugh at her. And out comes the story. And my idea is that you have people who say, I'll never believe in ghosts, whatever you tell me. But the great proportion of what we might call normal people, real people who live in families and villages and on farms and in the countryside where the storm is weather is right on top of them and animals live and die in their hands and uh, things come in the night and scratchings come and horrible things come after dead children come there and all this kind of stuff which is the situation how the world has always been and still is outweigh the people who claim that it's all nonsense 